Let's discuss chapter 10 which deals with contempt of the lawful authority of public servants. Friends, authority without any power is useless because if you do not have any power then no one will take you seriously. Imagine if police did not have power to arrest any person, what would happen? Criminals would not be afraid of police. They will commit crimes in front of police and police would not be able to do anything because they lack power. Same goes with the public servants. Public servants have been entrusted with certain authority necessary to run the administrative machinery of the country. Accordingly, law provides for punishment for those who disobey the authority of the public servant. This is covered under chapter 10. Chapter 10 contains 19 sections running from section 172 to 190. Section 172, 173 and 174 deals with refusal to comply with the summon, a notice or an order issued by a public servant in discharge of his official duty. Let's look at each section one by one. Section 172. Section 172 provides for punishment where a person absconds to avoid service of summons. Summons, as you may already know, means the written order by a public servant to appear before him. So if a person knowingly absconds to avoid service of the summons issued, then he will be held guilty under this section. The word abscond generally means running away from the place where you stay. But here, for the purpose of this section, absconding means doing something to avoid summons. So. It is not necessary that the person leaves the place where he stays. He may hide himself at the same place to avoid service of summons to him. So here, even hiding yourself will uh, amount to absconding. However, refusing to accept the summon and walking inside the house does not amount to absconding. So, following are the essential ingredients of this section. First, summons is issued by a public servant legally authorized to issue it right someone is issued by a public servant who is legally authorized to issue it condition number one condition number two the accused knows or believes that the summons have been issued for him third the accused absconded to evade the service of summons right if these three conditions are present then the accused can be charged under section 172 now, this section has two paragraphs. Para 1 deals with avoiding of any summons, notice or order from any public servant and provides simple imprisonment of one month or fine of rupees 500 or both. Para 2 deals with avoidance of summons, notice or order to appear in person by or by an agent in a court or to produce a document or an electronic record in a court of justice. And this specific offense is punishable with simple imprisonment of up to six months or fine of rupees 1000 or both. This offense under this section is non-cognizable, bailable, but not compoundable. 